We are in Stavanger, summer 1988. It's been a very warm, dry summer so far, and everyone knows how to appreciate this, each in their own way. The North Sea is our nearest neighbour, and will know from experience that the forces of nature are unpredictable and not to be taken lightly. Rogaland's Data, one of Norway's largest data processing companies, is situated on a wooded hillside at Ullenhaug on the outskirts of Stavanger. On Friday the 8th of July, the whole area was suddenly engulfed in an uncontrollable seething deluge. A thunderstorm unleashed a torrential downpour, resulting in flooding few of us have ever experienced. In business and private premises throughout the area, flooding caused severe damage. Many people had their basements full of water, roads were transformed into raging torrents and Rogaland's data's premises were among those most affected. Here, in this storeroom, water pressure pushed the concrete floor upwards about 60 centimetres, causing it to fracture. 200 cubic metres of water and mud entered the room before the steel entrance door gave way under pressure and this uncontrollable mass of water was free to run through two floors of the premises with devastating effect. These scenes were filmed 12 to 18 hours after the incident when cleaning was well underway. The computer halls were severely affected and underfloor cavities filled with mud and water. The water stopped rising about one centimetre over the computer floor. The basement floor of the building, containing the education department, main switchboard, UPS unit, telephone exchange and forms storage areas, received major damage from the flooding. In one of the classrooms, a stone punched a hole in a specially strengthened window and water gushed through this into the room, drenching equipment. After the water was pumped out of the area, a layer of mud remained. The tremendous rain masses caused problems for private and business premises alike, but for Rogaland's data's customers, who are dependent on the availability of computing resources, the situation was disastrous. The main objective, how to reduce to a minimum the time needed to recover from this disaster. Would operations need to be transferred to another site? Such a solution would be extremely complicated and require days, even weeks, to accomplish. Preliminary planning for such an eventuality was started. The consequences of a long break in production would be catastrophic for both the customers and to Rogaland's data. Rogaland's data made the headlines in the local press. Priority was given to the cleaning of the computer halls and the auxiliary equipment. The whole area had to be cleaned. Underfloor cabling was sprayed with clean water before this, together with the mud, was removed by strong vacuum pumps. 
All electrical contacts and channel cable joints had to be opened, rinsed using clean water, checked and dried. Day and night work continued non-stop at Rogaland's data. Luckily enough, the most critical parts of the equipment, CPU and discs, were not damaged. Information was of prime importance during the recovery operation. Key personnel were brought back from holiday and their weekend break. Both national and international experts were called in to help with recovery. Everyone involved did a tremendous job. The most important single objective was to get all systems available to the customers with a minimum of delay. Technical equipment had to be changed, power supplies had to be refurbished, the telephone exchange was completely destroyed. A new temporary exchange was installed by Sunday afternoon. Regular status meetings were held to monitor the progress and to coordinate those who had been working around the clock. Personnel arriving to work on Monday morning had to be correctly informed of the situation and of what they would be required to do until normal service could be resumed. Information to customers, owners and joint venture partners was extremely important and this work started early. Active use of the press, radio and TV in addition to personal contact made by our consultants helped to spread this information. Understanding and patience from informed customers gave breathing space for those who were working to reduce the downtime. After four days of washing, drying, deinstallation of damaged equipment and installation of new, the situation looked brighter. A tremendous effort from all involved gave the desired result. As power was applied to equipment in different parts of the plant and no faults were reported, the mood became more and more optimistic. And five days after the disastrous flood, all 2,500 users were in contact with the central computer in Stavanger. Things are returning to normal. <laughs>